guys, love you guys. My name is Ashley and I am not cool looking. And today I wanted to talk about supplements. I want to talk about the supplements that I use and I want to talk about whether or not I think supplements are worth it or even necessary. I personally don't think that supplements are necessary at all, but they will help you achieve your goals faster if that's something that you're looking to do. Um, I will say that it is absolutely essential to have your diet be your number one priority and then supplements can be a secondary priority because having your diet on point is what's going to give you the best results and then supplements will just aid those results right so that makes sense so there's a lot of supplements out there and these are the ones that i use and let's talk about it okay so first my most used supplement is protein powder i have a few different kinds this is the Magnum Quattro Protein Isolate Formula. This is made with whey, so this is a milk-based protein powder. It only has one gram of sugar per serving, 140 calories, 30 grams protein, two carbs, and 1.5 fat. I really like this stuff, it's amazing. It's gluten-free and pretty much sugarless, so I can have it on the Candida diet. There's the one gram of sugar, but I don't think it's added sugar because there's no sugar in the actual, um, and the actual ingredients just super low so anyways it's got really good macros it's really really good it's delicious and i really like this formula um i personally have whey powder because milk doesn't upset my stomach it doesn't make me bloated or gassy or irritated at all so i have no problems with dairy if you do have dairy issues there are a bunch of different alternatives i really really liked the soy protein powder from my protein it's vegan it's really delicious i got the chocolate smooth flavor the other flavor i also tried it was absolutely disgusting just make sure you get it flavor that's all that i'm saying and then i have a few other proteins all the rest of them are from my protein so i have four this is the impact whey protein um this one is amazing it has four grams of bcaa's in it as well as two and a half grams of glutamine in it per serving i believe um this one's strawberry cream i really really like this stuff it's so delicious this is a great flavor um i also have salted caramel this one is my favorite mixing it in with my coffee on days when i don't have time for a full breakfast but i want like a snack i'll make a shot of espresso i'll cool it off a little bit of milk and i'll put it into my shaker and then i'll take a scoop of the salted caramel i'll shake it up and take it to go it's really really good really amazing really yummy this is the chocolate brownie flavor also amazing i'm just gonna tell you all the flavors i have and then the vanilla one as well is really, really good. I like the my protein ones because there's no sugar in them either. It's all sweetened with sucralose as well. So I could, again, can have it on my candida diet, which is lovely. These are so, so good. I really like the my protein formula. They blend up really, really well. You can make them with water. They're just as delicious. Or you can make them with uh, non-dairy milk or dairy milk, whatever your preference is. All of them are fantastic. And the last protein powder that I have here is the My Protein Clear Whey Isolate in the Tropical Dragon Fruit flavor. So this one is kind of different. It's completely clear when you shake it up in the bottle and it looks kind of foamy at first, but then it settles and it tastes like a fruit drink. This tropical fruit flavor is also amazing and it just tastes like a fresh, fruity summertime drink. I really, really enjoy this one in the summer and I save it to use exclusively then. Um, I really like to have it with like ice and shake it up together and then drink it like that. So when I'm walking home from the gym or if I'm just walking and I'm out on a hike and I just need something like cool, but like refreshing, but I still need that boost of protein, I'll take that with me. But yeah, I love this exclusively in the summer. You can definitely have it all year. It's just my personal preference. And I have so much protein powder, so I like to have different flavors for different times. Next, I'm gonna talk about creatine monohydrate. This is the most researched supplement with the most scientific proof and backing of its efficiency and um, effectiveness. I love this stuff. It helps me push through sets a little bit harder. It helps me work a little bit longer and just keep my endurance up and going. And it also helps to bulk your muscles. So it gives you a really nice pump and it adds more, I guess, definition or water to the muscles. I could be absolutely wrong. Um, all I know is that <laughs> um, it's really, really good. What I read about it was really, really beneficial. And the fact that I can go a little bit harder without having to use a stim. By stim, I just mean stimulant like caffeine. Uh, in my pre-workout I think is great. So on days that I want to work out but it's late at night and I don't want a pre-workout or I don't want to have a coffee, I'll take some creatine and I'll take some HVOL. 
and I'll mix them together and I'll have them about 30 minutes before my workout and it just helps me with endurance and it's really really good or sometimes I'll just have this on its own with my BCAAs in a shaker while I'm working out it really depends on the day and so on the topic of HVOL, HVOL is a non-stimulant pre-workout this one's in the pineapple mango flavor I really like this stuff it's really delicious this helps me be a little bit more focused and have a little bit more energy and endurance and gives you a really really great pump at the gym so your muscles look really really nice and defined when you're working out when you have some HVOL I like it because there's no caffeine in it again so if I'm having a late night workout this is awesome and it just helps me um, give me that extra oomph also I feel like it's a really like big mind thing too, because you have to take it half an hour before you go to the gym. So I feel like when I take it, I'm like preparing myself for the gym. I'm getting ready. I'm getting myself in the headspace and I feel really prepared when I go to the gym. So I really enjoy H12 for that. I have the C4 Ultimate pre-workout in Cherry Limeade, which is a classic beginner pre-workout. This is the first pre-workout I ever bought. Actually, this was my first pre-workout I ever bought, That was, um, but it was non-stim. And then this was my first pre-workout that I bought that has caffeine in it. So I really, really like this stuff. It doesn't make me feel too itchy, um, but I also only have half scoops. I don't have the full scoop of this unless I'm really, really tired. And even then I usually will be aware of having a full scoop, um, but I like it. It doesn't make me itchy. It gives me a lot of energy. I have a lot of endurance like in a different way. So a non-stim pre-workout gives me endurance so I feel like I can just keep going, but this really makes me like, able to go like I don't feel tired when I'm working out like I could just keep going um, which is good and bad like I've gone to the point where I just kept going and going and then I was really really sore the next day um, versus this one where I can keep going but I do eventually feel fatigue um, because I think because it doesn't have caffeine both are great both are great for different times of day like the h fall again is great for at night this is great for morning workouts I wouldn't use the c4 anytime after um, 12 to 2 p.m. depending on what time I was going to bed um, just because there is so much caffeine in it even with just a half scoop caffeine affects me a lot so if I have it too late I can't fall asleep like the past two nights awful I fell asleep at 6 30 the night before and then last night I think I fell asleep at like 4 30 or 5 not good um, and it was because I had caffeine too late so I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back on track next is BCAAs all of them are from my protein this watermelon one is amazing it tastes like those um you know the little watermelon candies that, that are like really really sweet this tastes just like that it's amazing really really nice on a summer day and then the next flavor is peach ring this one tastes just like peach rings or like fuzzy peach it's so so good um, I love this flavor and then the next flavor I have is peach lemonade. This one, I would say like those first two are my top favorites. And then this one's like next on the uh, ranking system. It's pretty good. Um, I think it's just because I've been having it a little too warm. It doesn't like taste as refreshing, but if you have this with ice, really, really good. What else do we have here? Oh, the last supplement that I take is collagen. This is the Organica Enhanced Collagen. This is great. It's 100% collagen. Um, Per one serving is one heaping tablespoon, 35 calories, zero fat, zero carbs, nine grams of protein. This is nice because it gives you an extra bit of protein and it also helps with your hair, your skin, your nails. And I personally have not the best skin and I am 24. Um, so my collagen is gonna stop producing itself soon. When you're 25 is when your collagen production well, it doesn't stop, it just slows down. Um, and collagen is what keeps your skin really nice and elastic. And that happens, it's totally natural, it's part of being human, and it's gonna happen eventually. Um, so like, don't worry about it, but it's just something that I like to have to make myself feel like I'm doing something to keep my skin happy alongside with a healthy diet and good skincare as well. Um, the most important thing that you can do for your skin really is just put SPF on every day. Even if you're in your room and you just have the window open, put that SPF on. Unless you're in an absolute blackout room, there's no sun coming in from anywhere 24 hours a day, you should put sunscreen on when you leave the house. It's really, really important for your skin. It's the best thing you can do for anti-aging. Um, but yes, so for the collagen, I do have it once in a while. Um, usually if I'm having it, I'll mix it in with my coffee or especially if I'm having coffee with protein powder, like a quick morning shake, I'll add my 
collagen in there. It's also really, really good in smoothies or also yogurt. It has absolutely no flavor and it's just a little bit extra protein while also helping with your hair, skin and nails. So a lot of really good things in collagen. I personally haven't seen like any like huge physical changes, but I think for me, it's more of like a, I'm buying it to make myself feel good sort of buy than like an actual results driven buy. Um, and again, it's not necessary. None of these are necessary, like I said in the beginning, but it's more so to just aid you in your um, fitness journey. So those are all the supplements that I use. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, let me know. I'll link everything down below. I also have a discount code with my protein and I'll put that up on the screen and it will also be down below in the description um, next to the links to all the products as well. Also, if you live in Canada, I highly recommend getting your Magnum products from Popeyes. This is a Popeyes size exclusive. It's the extra large size that they sell just for Popeyes, which I think is really nice. And also Popeyes has the best customer service. They could answer questions that I had. And they were really nice. Um, so I personally really, really like Popeyes supplements. So I recommend going there if you are looking for some of the Magnum supplements. And that was everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and comment down below what supplements you like to take and what supplements you think that I should try. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.